actually started when we put out an open call. Any artist with a connection to Kent will give you a week, we'll give you a space, and you take part in a showing, which is what today is. We've had live artists, climate change musical, a Mesopotamian 3,000-year-old game. It's been a truly invaluable opportunity at this crucial stage in the show's development to share with audiences. We've got these ideas, we've got these hopes and ambitions for it and we want to feel like this. Is that how it felt watching a small extra of it? I think it's probably the first time that an audience has come in on my work at such an early stage. And I think, you know, part of it was the atmosphere created by the theatre was very relaxed and uh, um, open to, to, to people um, participating in a really positive way. The early stage of creation, well, it's just the beginnings of ideas and thoughts. Ask our audiences to come willing to kind of join in and respond to it and, you know, ask questions and challenge and encourage. Fair Shake's a new company. One of our big things is about building relationships with organisations but also with the public and with audiences and building our audience up. We had feedback already from a teacher in a school who would like us to collaborate with them. So actually, yeah, some quite direct responses from the audience in a really positive way. Having a theatre that goes, we like your work and we want you back here and we want to help you continue creating work for you to tour around the UK is just a relief in an industry where sometimes that can feel very lonely. They have uh, paid me a fee for a week's work. They have um, supported me to uh, set up interviews and interview people at the theatre. It enables us as a company to then show that somebody's actually genuinely invested in us. For the Marlowe, it's just fun. It's just fun to have the place packed full of creative ideas we wouldn't necessarily get to play with. The Blue and the Green, for example, is a, is a two-person company. And what they were saying was, we've suddenly had four actors and we've had the facilities to develop this piece. So they were finding their creative voice. So we had a mixture of that festival feel. You've gone on a real journey since, was it one o'clock this afternoon, now to about seven. That kind of richness of the experience will stay with people. On the evidence of the creativity that we've unlocked just with this small project, I'm just very excited about what we might do. It wasn't daunting at all. I think it's very much supported by the producers that this was a sharing, that we're not looking for a finished product. That gave us the freedom to explore and really to then have the confidence to think about where we might want to take it in future. If anything, we will just help on uh, making a huge uproar about the brilliant art that is coming to this local area and that's coming to Canterbury and give those audiences a better night out. Mm -hmm.